Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to avoid the 255 character limit in Excel formulas. This is a problem that exists on some of the earlier versions of Excel. Um, it doesn't have the, the problem doesn't exist on all versions of Excel, but when it does, uh, you need to know how to get around it. Um, the, the simplest way of getting around it is simply to take a complicated formula that exceeds the limit and simplify it. So I've got an example that I've created here, um, just a series of numbers, and down at the bottom I have a, a big complicated, um, what looks like a complicated formula, but it's really pretty simple because it's just the same thing repeated over and over again, that comes up with this number down here in cell B13. So I'm just going to show you how you can take this formula and simplify it um, just by taking chunks out of the formula and putting them into a new cell and creating a new formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the formula and if you look at it a little bit, and let me just scroll in a little bit so you can see, what it, what it is, it's just a, it's just a series of, of sums of the numbers above it uh, and just for fun I have each one raised to a different power. So it looks more complicated than it really is. Uh, let's just scroll back and what we're going to do is we're going to copy about half of the formula, not in, well, at first we can include the equal sign equal sign and we're going to go down to a place about halfway through um, right about to here um, so I've included of these little mini sums in the formula I've included eight of them and I'm going to go to the copy menu and then I'm going to exit out of the formula without saving by clicking cancel then I'm going to go into a new cell uh, put my cursor in the formula bar and I'm going to, and I'm going to say paste and so now it has half of that formula pasted in and I'll just hit return and that enters in the number. And so it was the, the portion of the formula from the first one, the second one, the third one, all the way up to the eighth one. And now I want to go to that same formula, the original formula down here, and I want to select the rest of the formula. It's going to be from about here all the way to the end. So you can see I've now selected the second half of the formula. Um, and I'm going to go edit, copy, and I'm going to exit out of that formula without saving, and I'm going to go into my second new cell, and this time I need to enter the equals first because I didn't have that in what I copied, and then I'm going to say paste, and there's the second half of the formula, and I just hit return, and now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to create a third formula that's, that's simply the sum of those first two. So I'm going to just say equals, and I select on D1, and I enter in a plus, and then I click on D2, and that's my new formula, and you can see that's the same as the original result down here. Um, so I've gone from a long formula that in some cases may exceed the 255 character limit, and I've reduced it into two smaller formulas, and then I've taken the sum of them. So just a general piece of advice, when you're working with formulas, to keep them from getting too complicated, just try to have small, small, a larger number of smaller, simpler formulas that can be combined into other simple formulas rather than having one big involved one. You'll save yourselves a lot of trouble and you'll help other people that might be looking at your spreadsheet. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted and today I showed you how to avoid the 255 character limit in Excel formulas. Thank you for watching.